Hey folks, Junior DeBoss here coming at you with another World of Warcraft video. And today we're going to be talking about lots of things actually. Uh, we're going to be talking about Loot Appraiser Challenge, Loot Appraiser Trade Skill Master Desktop App, which is the main reason why I'm making this video, and of course Trade Skill Master itself. Now we're not going to delve deep into Trade Skill Master, but I'm going to pretty much tell you how to set up your desktop TSM application and which modules you need to actually get Loot Appraiser Challenge to work properly in my stream when we get together and we just get it done. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like this right here and bring up the Trade Skill Master app. Now, this is what it looks like when it's all signed in and good to go. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from scratch. So that way uh, you can actually get stuff completely installed properly and have everything uh, working for you. All right. So without further ado, let's head on over to Curse. Let's get started. So as you can see, I'm on Curse.com. Now, I recommend that you have the Curse client so that way, all you have to do is just, you know, hit install via client and it installs it for you. All right. So let's go ahead and type in TSM here. And it's going to come up with every single Trade Skill Master uh, add on that is for World of Warcraft. Um, there's three that you need to get things to work with Loot Appraiser. The rest of the add-ons that you have here, you can use for auctioning, vendoring, shopping. We'll get to those later um, in a later video. So the three that you need is Trade Skill Master. This is the main, the main hub, the main meat of the add-on. Uh, then you also need Auction DB, and then you also need the App Helper, which is right here. So those three are the ones that you need. Now, usually what I do is I'll just right click and open in a new window so that I don't have to hit the back button all the time just because I'm lazy. You don't have to. You can actually just go in, hit install via curse, and then hit the back button if you want to, uh, which actually might be a little bit easier um, for some. Definitely install via the curse client. It, in my opinion, it's just easier. If you don't, then you'll just have to download it, go to the folder that you have the item or the add-on in, and then go from there and just install it that way. All right. So now that we've got TSM installed, what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to tradeskillmaster.com. And also keep in mind, folks, that this information that I'm speaking of right now is actually going to be in the description below. And anytime you need to pause to get to where we are, please do, or you can watch the video again. It's no, no problem. That's why I'm making this video for. So what we want to do here, folks, is we are going to actually register for TSM desktop. Well, it's for TSM, but it's specifically for the desktop. So that way it can pull the information to the trade skill master desktop application. So there's two areas that you can do it. You can do sign up for free, or you can just mouse over and do create account. I personally like that because it makes me feel like I'm creating the account, even though it doesn't really matter. So this is where you're going to be putting your information here, and then you're going to hit create account. Now, the good news is, is that that's it. That's all you have to do as far as creating the account. You don't have to have any secure social security numbers or anything like that you know, rolling around. It's just that simple. Then you log in. So let's go ahead and log in. And you may actually be logged in already once you create the account. So if that's the case, it's just going to bring you right back to this window. All right. So the next thing that we're going to actually do is we're going to head on over to the download section for the TSM desktop application and get going there. So what you're going to want to do is go up to the top here and mouse over desktop app. Click on Overview Download. It will take you to the Download section. Uh, now, Windows or Mac, it doesn't matter. It works on both. So go ahead and click that big blue box there. 
uh, and then choose whichever one you're going to download. Now, because I have Windows, I'm going to go ahead and choose Windows. Now, as you can see, I've downloaded this before. That's not a problem. All right, so once you've done that, go ahead and install it. Um, and then once it's actually installed, then you will go through the parts of where you want to install it. I just have it installed just on my C drive, so but that's completely up to you. Now, once you actually get done downloading that, this is what's going to happen. You're going to go to the download folder of wherever you have it at. Um, actually, if I go back here, you can actually see in Chrome that it puts it at the bottom. You can just click on it and a window will pop up for you to log in or to uh, log, yes, log in after it's been installed. Um, or if you're on Firefox, then it's going to be up here somewhere at the top of your bars. All right. So once you've got it installed, now we're going to actually log in and configure it. Okay, so once we've got it installed, what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and log in with your email address and your password and then log in. And then the next thing that you're going to do is actually hit OK. You're just going to say, yes, I agree to your terms of use, TSM. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You can read them if you want to, but I never read crap. So there you go. <laughs> and then it'll look empty. It's not going to look like this. So you're not going to have anything here. So the next thing that we're going to actually have to do is have you click on settings because this is where it gets, this is where we really have to set things up properly. So in the wow directory, you want to make sure that you have this set to the exact place where you have installed world of Warcraft. Very simple. Just click browse, go to where it is in your C drive, D drive, F drive, whatever drive you have it as, and then, hit OK and then you're there. The next thing that we're going to do folks is set up the realm. So let's go ahead and set that up. You're just going to click here. I will bring us over to the other page here. There we go. All right. Too many windows folks. Too many windows. <laughs> All right. So you're not going to have any realms here. It's just going to be empty. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is go to the add realm section and it, whether you're us or eu doesn't matter just choose whichever uh, and then you find your realm here in the list so we're just going to scroll down to the bottom and use a uh, zulu ed or head however you want to say it i suppose and then click add realm that's it that's all you have to do now if you're on windows all you have to do is hit f5 and it will refresh and it will tell you that Zulued is now up to date. So it was updated 53 minutes ago. Okay. So that's part, that's it. That's all you have to do as far as the realms are concerned. There's nothing else. And if you have multiple realms, all you have to do is add them here. That's it. Whether you US or EU. And if you have both, that's fine too. As you can see right here, I have my EU set up here and my US set up here, and then you're good to go. Now the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to swap back over to our Trade Skill Master desktop app and we're going to hit done and then we're going to hit this X right here. The reason for that is, is that we want Trade Skill Master to kind of refresh itself with the realm data that we just uh, set up for that. So the next thing you're going to do, again, this is on Windows, just hit your Windows key and type in TSM enter and then it opens it up and as you can see there's Zulued right there and it says that it's up to date so it's actually instant there's no waiting as long as you follow these steps properly you will have no doubt no issues no anything if you follow the way that I just did this on screen here in this video then you're ready to rock and roll what does that mean now? That means that now all you have to do, if you haven't done it already, is install Ludapraiser and install Ludapraiser Challenge. Put up your WoW game and you're ready to rock and roll. When the stream starts and says, hey, you ready for a challenge? You can say, yes, sir, I am. And I am. And I am. And I am. 
And that's it. This is very simple, and I want everybody that comes to my stream to be able to do the Ludapraiser challenges with me all day, every day, anytime they want. So thanks so much for watching, folks. Definitely see you in the next one, and take care. Bye now. And there we go, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. You can also hit me up on Twitter at JuniorToBossTV. If you have more time, check out my last video by clicking here. And Junior Boss out.